Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, education, placement drives, and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit that red button so that you don't miss any latest updates. Before starting our today's video, I want to give you a quick update regarding the TT service which we are providing. So our subscribers already know we have mentioned in the previous videos also in case you don't know and for our new viewers who are viewing us for the first time we want to tell you that we are providing a small service of option entry like people who get good rank and who don't know how to you know select colleges which order to put which colleges are best regarding placements which colleges are best regarding academics so people get confused and i have seen many students lined up in you know bad colleges even though after having a good rank so this is only for serious this is a paid service so the fee is 249 so if any one of you or any parents watching this want this service you can fill down the google form which we are giving in the description i want to repeat that if you are only serious about this please fill that form if not please don't fill thank you and let's start our today's video so you all were waiting for kcet updates like all were waiting for document verification option entry and finally, we have got some update from KCT. KCT has released document verification slip, not the one which you will get the option entry number or the you know secret key passport uh, to directly fill in the option entry. But this is a different verification slip, which was not released previous year, but this year they have released. So we'll break down the details. What 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 all details are available in this option entry slip? What's the importance of this? So please stay tuned till the end and you'll also get to know how to verify documents online so uh, many were you know commenting down how to verify documents online i am a clause a student i have so my eligibility clause is clause a so how to verify so these were your doubts so you'll get cleared in this video right and also your claim category if you have claimed any category and whether you have already got that category or they have allotted you in general category or uh, you know reservation certification uh, certificate has worked or not so these things everything will get cleared so please watch till the end let's start our today's video so first of all you need to as usual go into the ka website right after getting into the ka website drop down to the latest announcement section and if you want if you are not comfortable in canada change your language to english or else if you are uh, comfortable in canada you can proceed with that as you can see on 23rd uh, 6 that is yesterday they have released UGCET 2025 download verification slip link so once you click on this link right after you click on to this link you'll get into this section where you need to give your uh, registration number or login id and click on uh, enter your password enter the captcha and login once you log in you'll get into this page right after getting into this page you can see they have given some information basically why they are asking this is since this is online verification if you have given any false information if you have given any false document and further when you join the college and it doesn't match right so they are not res responsible basically so if you have given everything properly everything is uh, genuine and everything is correct don't need to worry just click on the you know declare button and click download verification slip when you click the slip will automatically get downloaded and this is what it looks like. I've hidden the details due to privacy concerns. So you'll get your option entry CET number above. Then you can see your registration number, exam CET number, your name, your father's name, your mother name, your gender, date of birth, nationality, religion, mother tongue, etc. So verify all these details are correct. Don't you know ignore okay, one letter is wrong or any only religion is wrong or mother tongue is wrong. You need to verify and you need to check each and everything is correct. And you need to check your clause mainly. If you are clause A student, then you are eligible for online verification, as we have mentioned in our earlier videos, right? Till then you can check out the marks which you have got, and you can check out your rankings, all the rankings of your B, uh, you know, B Pharma, Engineering, Nursing, Agriculture. All the rankings will be visible here. You can check that out. So after checking these details, if you go on to the next page, you can see these details are very informative. So reservation verified details. So your category, which category you have claimed, which caste you belong, how much is your income according to your income certificate, 
whether you belong to this kannada rural category hyderabad karnataka all this ling- linguistic minority religious minority so if you have given the certificates and if your certificates are verified then you can see yes or if not no right you need to verify these details these details are very important after verifying these details you can see they have given information important information where reservation claims have been shown as mentioned by the candidate in the online applications right please note that reservation claims shown in this verification slip will be considered for online seat allotment okay please listen carefully seats will be allotted based on this reservation hence compulsory verify the reservation details or claims okay based on this you will get the, your seats so you need to verify it compulsory if there is any uh, discrepancy in the verification slip contact kea by booking the slot and uh, slot for checking documents and application so if anything is wrong you find if you have claimed any category and if you have not got you can contact kea book the slot and ver- correct it right candidate himself or herself will be responsible for details provided not bringing into the notice of kea so if you don't bring into the notice of kea and and if you ignore this thing and you don't get your desired category then it is your fault so you need to check that right check that because it is very important uh, you know if you are from some category 2b 3b sc st then you get a lot of benefit because in colleges like rv if you see where for general merit if cut off is some 800 not even 1000 you can see sc st category go t- going till 10000 you know that is immense that is very huge gap between general and Yeah, you know sst category so you need to uh, you know take this seriously and if you have any doubts we are always there to help you you can drop down in the comment section and if, and if you have reached till here if you have watched our video till here we are really thankful thanks for watching and once again i would like to remind about the service if you want any help you can fill out the google form we we'll, we are very happy to help you we have successfully helped candidates previous year we are helping candidates even this year we are getting lot of inquiries no, more than uh, students parents are inquiring us you know uh, to help them uh, to fill in the option entry many don't have any idea many even though if they have idea for second thought they are considering us right so we can help you any any one of you feel free to contact 249 is not a big amount it's very small amount because it's for students right so you can contact us anytime Thank you for watching our today's video. If you find our content informative, please do like, share, subscribe and stay tuned.